Today we are looking at every Marvel comic published with a cover date of October 1963. You will see that there are 12 titles published this month. We're going to focus on the six superhero genre books. And we're going to tell you all about them, why they're key books, and we're going to compare the rarity and the uh, prices and help you with your investing. Starting off with Amazing Spider-Man number five. This is the 82nd Silver Age superhero comic published by Marvel since they started up in 1961. And this is also the seventh appearance of Spider-Man. And it's also the first Doctor Doom appearance outside of the Fantastic Four. And they also make a cameo in this issue. Nice action cover, white background, 12 cent cover price. Print run estimated at 175,000 copies. This was quickly becoming one of Marvel's best-selling titles. Not yet selling as good as Fantastic Four, though. CGC Census, you can see copies are really expanding in the last few years. Now over 2,000 copies, but only 11, 9.6s are better. Heritage sales are definitely jumping as well. If we look at the Overstreet Annual Price Guide, we can see the price growth over the last 16 years in all conditions. In low grade, you can see the book has not yet even doubled, but in high grade, the book's gone up about two and a half times in raw 9.2 condition. Check eBay or GP analysis if you want up-to-date sales and see where the book is going at this current market. And of course, with CGC sales, there'll be records set all the time. And looking at the census more closely, we have one 9.8 and 10 9.6s. There was also a Mexican and a UK price ferry published in the same month. Next on our list being released at this time, Fantastic Four number 19. This was now ongoing, and this was Marvel's best-selling Silver Hero title. It's the first appearance of Rama Tut, who later is the time traveler Kang the Conqueror. Jack Kirby cover art, print run estimated at 200,000 copies. Not as many copies of this one graded in total 600 copies in all conditions, only 12 9.6s are better. Heritage has sold a lot less. So here's sort of an Egyptian pyramid cover. In Overstreet, you'll see again, this book has not yet doubled in this time period, but in high grade, it's almost tripled in raw high grade condition. On the census, we have one 9.8 and 11 9.6s. The UK price variant, not many copies graded at all, only one, and it grades a four. Next on our list is Journey into Mystery 97. This was the ongoing series for Thor. And the Tales of Asgard storyline debuted in this issue. It's the first appearance of Surtur and Lava Man. Again, Jack Kirby cover art, white background. Print run estimated at 187,000 copies. So this was also selling better than Amazing Spider-Man at this time. Only 300 copies graded in total from CGC and only four 9.6s. So this book is lesser of a key, therefore fewer copies graded in general. In the Overstreet Price Guide, we can see the book has doubled in this long time period. And it has definitely almost gone up four times in high grade raw. On the census, there are nine, two 9.8s and two 9.6s. The UK price edition, the, the highest is a 7.5. At the end of this video, we're going to compare and analyze the number of copies on the CGC analysis. So uh, we'll get to that in a few minutes. Next on our list, let's just take a moment and look at the non-superhero genre. We have Kathy, Modeling with Millie, Patsy and Hetty, Patsy and Hetty Annual Number 1, and Patsy Walker. That means that Patsy Walker was featured in three of her own books this month. That is more copies than any of the main characters like Fantastic Four and Spider-Man at this time. We also get a Western, Rawhide Kid, number 36. So the next book we're gonna now look at is Strange Tales 113. This is the origin and first appearance of Plant Man. Steve Ditko and Dick Ayers art, the 13th solo human torch issue, Doctor Strange does not appear in this issue. Otherwise, this book would be a lot more valuable. Print run estimated at 189,000 copies. So again, Human Torch also selling bigger than Spider-Man at this time. 
Very few copies graded though, 155 in all conditions. Over Street Price Guide, the book has doubled in lower grades and has more than tripled in high grades, but still is a very cheap book overall. On the census, there's two 9.8s, two 9.6s. None of the UK price variants have been graded at all. Next on our list, Tales of Suspense 46. This is the eighth appearance of Iron Man. And this book is more importantly known as the first appearance of the Crimson Dynamo. They were even featured in a song by Paul McCartney called Magneto and Titanium Man in 1975. Jack Kirby cover artwork, Don Heck interior art. Print run estimated at 188,000 copies. This was also selling better than Spider-Man at this time. 400 copies graded in total. Overstreet Price Guide, the book has doubled in low grades and has gone more than triple in high grades raw. On the census, we have two 9.8s, two 9.6s. There is a restored 9.6 as well. And only a couple UK price variants graded. The highest is a 7.5. And the next book on our list, Tales to Astonish 48. This is the first appearance and origin of the porcupine. It's the fifth appearance of Wasp and the 14th appearance of Ant-Man. Cover by Jack Kirby, print run 189,000 copies. We're starting to see a trend here on how popular these books were. And again, not many copies graded on census. This isn't considered a major book, but it does have Wasp and Ant-Man both on this white background cover. In the price guide, this book has not quite doubled in lower grades but it has almost tripled in high grades raw. We have one 9.8, two 9.6s. There is a UK price variant, only one copy graded at all. It is a nine. Now, let's take a quick peek over at the CGC and we're gonna compare the rarity of these books and compare them to each other. Now, generally the, the bigger the key book is, the more people are after it, the more copies get graded. So we're gonna notice that for sure. So by far, Amazing Spider-Man number five it's over 2,000 copies graded, which is way ahead of any other book on this list. There is only one 9.8, however. And the rarest book on the list is Strange Tales 113. It's only 155 copies, even though it is the first appearance of Plant Man and Dory Evans. Just for fun, I put Patsy and Hetty annual number one on the bottom. It's not a superhero title, but I wanted to show you the difference in rarity and how much people pay attention. There is 11 copies graded in total, the highest being a 9.0. If we look at which books have the least number of copies on the high grade end, well, it's pretty close for all of them, but Tales to Astonish 48 only has three copies, 9.6 or better. And if we go down to 9.4s, Strange Tales 113 seems to be the rarest book on the list with only seven copies in the world grading 9.4 or higher. So there you go. There's all the highlight Marvel comics with a cover date of October 1963. Six superhero titles with six books in total. Remember, I do this series every week and you can learn the entire history of Marvel comics one month at a time. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.